Wife believes in ghosts. Oh, Jesus. Dear Billy Burger Basket, um, I love my wife dearly. And on most topics, we are in agreement. But recently, something has come between us. She believes in ghosts, and I do not. Uh, dude, fucking let it go. Who gives a shit? Okay? As long as she's not trying to talk to him and, and acting like Whoopi Goldberg and saying that they're entering her body. But even then, if she does that, you just dedicate one of your rooms to that and just have her fucking make money off of other dopes that believe what she's doing is real. <coughs> Anyways, I'm not so bothered by her belief. Sure, it's a bit kooky, but she's free to do it. And so it's not hurting anyone. All right, there you go. The problem is, is that she's offended that I don't believe in ghosts as well. Oh, gee, look at that. I gave you a lecture and you were already fucking, you were already where I was telling you to go. It's like, okay, you believe in ghosts. Good for you, but I don't. Fine. Oh, gross. Is there anything worse than cold tea? Sorry, I just started coughing. I had to take a little swig there. Um, I stopped believing in ghosts around the same time I stopped believing in Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny back when I was a kid. So when a full-grown adult tells me they see spirits, I can't help but wonder if there's something wrong with them mentally. She is afraid to go to the restroom at a certain restaurant in our town because there's a story about it being haunted. She says the last time she went in there, she felt an eerie chill, but it's a drafty bathroom in a 90-year-old building, for Christ's sake. She also has this old photograph she took through a window at an abandoned mental hospital that she claims shows a ghost face. When I look at it, I only saw blurry bullshit. I tried to be nice about it, but I think she felt like I was calling her stupid or crazy when I didn't see it, when I didn't see it too. I didn't want to lie about it. Besides, she would know if I was lying anyways. I don't know how to approach this topic without upsetting her. Do you have any advice for me? Yours truly. Um... This guy left his fucking name. Now, I don't know if this is a reference to somebody uh, in a movie. Let me see. Yes, this has got to be somebody. Uh, this has to be a movie joke. Oh, Dr. Peter Venkman. Oh, okay. This is Bill Murray's character in Ghostbusters. Okay, hilarious. All right. Um I don't know how to approach this topic without upsetting her. Do you have any advice for me? Yours truly, Dr. Peter Venkman. Uh, yeah, don't bring up the topic. Don't bring up the topic. And, uh, you know, I, I would just, I would just be like, look, I get it. You believe in ghosts and I don't. Uh, don't say it like that. Just be like, I respect the fact that you believe in ghosts. And um, I don't. And if the tables were turned and there was something that I believed in and you didn't, I would respect the fact that you didn't. And uh, rather than, you know, getting upset with you. Okay, you see ghosts. Evidently, you are born with a power that I was not giving. So you should feel thankful for that, that you're able to see these things. I am a mere mortal. Oh, don't say that because then that's passive aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the worst. Something along those lines. And just say, listen, I love everything about you and we get along great. But I, I just feel like there's this tension about this that uh, that you're trying to force me to feel something that I don't feel. And I don't think that that's what you do to somebody you love. And I wouldn't do that to you. Okay, so come on over here. And if there's not a ghost between us, could you give me a hug? <laughs> Something along those lines. All right, last one here. My sister's friend. Oh, boy. Hey, but, hi, Bill, you cunt. I'm an 18-year-old from England, and I need some advice. All right, you pasty, crooked teeth douche. Around two months ago, one of my sister's childhood friends came to visit her for a weekend. They've been friends since they were three, and she moved five hours away when she was 12, so they barely see each other anymore. They were planning to go out on Saturday with a group of friends, say, and I was planning on staying home alone. When my sister went to pick up a few of her friends to meet at our house, me and her friends flirted a bit, but nothing major. We exchanged Snapchats, etc. I love how that's flirting now. Long, t long story short. My sister's friend pretended to be ill and came home early so we could hook up. Dude, you are fucking crushing it. Your sister's bringing them home to you. You don't even have to go out. Good for you. The only thing was my sister was genuinely ill 
and also came home early, around 30 minutes after her friend, and she caught us in bed together. Well, what the fuck is she doing walking into your bedroom? My sister got insanely angry and stormed out. Now, you should have said, hey, don't hate the player. Hit the game. <laughs> and then just lit a cigarette. Oh, my God. I think this is fucking funny. This is fucking hilarious. Dude, do you realize how hard you're crushing it? You're fucking at home. You're not even trying to get laid. She just has her friends come over for the bullshit. Okay, ladies, you're ready to go out. And in that moment, whatever the fuck you did made one of them pretend to be sick and come back and hook up with you. Dude, you're a fucking hero. There's no reason to get... Oh, I don't care how mad your sister gets. Just I would just, just keep smiling and just be like, hey, I can't help it, man. The la- I, you know, the ladies love me. Sweetheart, sweetheart, I wasn't trying to hook up. I was at home. I, I, I was innocent. I, I can't help it if women are attracted to me. I would just go totally fucking arrogant. And no matter she get, I would just keep laughing. And I would never take it seriously. Uh, my sister has suffered with depression and anxiety. All right, forget what I just said. <laughs> I didn't see that part. My sister has suffered with depression. and I'm so excited for you that I, I didn't even read this next part. She suffered with depression and anxiety for years. So whenever something like this happens... My family almost always sides with her. Oh, that's easy. Then you just divide and conquer with your, with your dad. Just be like, Dad, I can't help it. I, I, I inherited your charisma. What do, what do you want from me? She, I, I, didn't, I didn't go out with... She came home to me. It, fe, it fell right in my lap. What was I supposed to do? Dad, what was I supposed to do? You know, and he'll... I don't know. What, I, there's no fucking way I get mad at my kid. In the morning... I mean, he's mad because you're making her upset, but he's not mad at what you did. I'm guaranteed your dad's telling his friends at work. This fucking this son of a bitch didn't have to leave the fucking house. They're coming. They're coming to him. Uh, in the morning, she threatened to never talk to me again for what I did, but I said something along the, so- the lines of, "I feel a connection with her," <laughs> or some bullshit like that to calm my sister down. The thing was, I didn't. But her friend did. Oh, no. We started dating. And after around two weeks, I, re- I realized that I fucking hated this girl. She is generally stupid as shit. Yeah, dude, this is all good. This is all good stuff because you're learning lessons, which you're supposed to in life, especially at 18. Okay? This whole thing started with a lie. Okay? And that you did to protect your sister's feelings. So you just got to come clean. You got to dump the dummy. And just tell her, like, listen, I love you so much that I actually started dating somebody that is fucking stupid. All right? I'm sorry. You have, and then she'll get mad that you'll be, like, calling her friend stupid. Are you saying my friends are stupid? No, I'm saying that friend that is a friend of you is stupid. The other ones seem really smart. And, you know, tell all of them I wouldn't mind if they faked six and came home and hooked up with me. <laughs> all right. I realized that I fucking hated this girl. She's generally stupid as shit. My original plan was to pretend I was into her for a few months. And then when I go to university, um, in a few months, I break up with her because of the long distance. Dude, don't do that because you might break her heart. All right. But that's some dumb shit you do when you're 18. Uh, That way I'd save my relationship with my sister and, and mother and get rid of this stupid bitch. Hey, 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 hey. Don't talk about women. You don't need to talk about them like that, okay? Feel lucky that, you, you know, you got a better brain than she did. Yeah, don't don't play with people's feelings like that, all right? Because I'm telling you right now that, you, that if you're any sort of an actual human being, uh, breaking somebody's heart, the guilt of that never fucking goes away. Um, however, I recently received news that my first choice university turned me down and my second choice was the only one that accepted me. The problem is she lives 15 minutes away from my second choice university and now I don't know what to do. You got to come clean. I can't go through university hitched to a girl I fucking hate, but I can't afford to risk my relationship with my family for obvious reasons. Also, another girl who I think I generally may have a connection with recently broke up with her boyfriend in two years, and I'm pretty sure that if I could, if I could, we would be dating right now. Uh, it also doesn't help that 
this girl is a nine out of ten looking model, and I'm probably a six and a half out of ten at best. Thanks for your help, you freckled twat. All right, dude, this is what you got to learn. You're going to learn uh, honesty here. All right. Um, fucking break up with that woman today. All right, and you have to come clean with everybody in your house, and you have to say, you know, you have to put your foot down that you, you, your parents cannot be choosing. I, maybe I would have this conversation with your parents. They can't be choosing your sister over you straight across the board because of your sister's depression and anxiety issues. Okay? I don't know how severe they are. All right? If they're chemical, then yeah, that's a major problem. But, you know, if she just needs to fucking you know, get out of a funk, then I don't know. I don't know where she is on the whole depression spectrum, if that's the proper thing. But like, you shouldn't have to be suffering like this, dude. You got to live your own fucking life. All right. Just live your life. Live your life. When you live your life, sometimes people are going to get hurt. All right. Fuck that. Break up with this woman and go ask the other woman out. That's it. That's what the fuck you do. And if anybody in your family has a problem with it, let them vent to you and all that stuff and just say, I'm sorry that I am doing what my heart is telling me to do. All right? I am not trying to hurt anybody in this family. Had I known that hooking up with that girl was going to uh, cause this level of, of drama, I wouldn't have done it. I regret that I did it. I actually felt so bad that I actually fucking dated her for two weeks the whole time and it was like talking to a fucking chair say all this stuff nicely all right 